Hey everyone, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. When we last left off, we had just arrived in Barren Light. Did a little bit of machine strike, which I'm still not particularly good at. And uh, we talked to old Sulky Errand. That's about it. Oh, and we got a bunch of new toys, a bunch of new weapons that we're definitely going to be trying out once we, we exit out of here. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, not quite ready to have the embassy start just yet. Because there was another side quest I wanted to check out. Although that might be something we can't do just yet. We'll see. So Where's this... Aaron? That looks like he's had a few. Right, I already talked to Aaron, so... Nothing new there. Shinies, did you get your pre-order bonus? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, what's going on here with this prisoner? Savior, you're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... Fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Start from the beginning. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different jumpy so when i spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours i followed i found him arguing with a stranger and when larovic mentioned the eclipse I, I tried getting closer but they heard me the stranger took off and larovic lunged at me with his knife instincts took over sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body Nobody believes you? Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. Did you hear anything else? The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, 
Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. New side quest, Shadow from the Past. Let's see here. It's level 7. Karja Guard stands accused of murdering a fellow soldier. He insists it was in self-defense, though no evidence has been found to back his claim. Get two skill points for this and 1,750 experience. Interesting. And he said to the east, so yeah, it is... Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Let's see, let me... Mark it. There we go. And that would send us where? Over there. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Uh, also, you guys are saying that in my stash is some pre-order goodies. Oh, right. And I almost forgot there was an unknown over here. We'll check that once we get back. Oh, yep. And for those who were interested in the game poll, Ghostwire has indeed won. Ghostwire will be my next game. I believe it comes out on March... 24th? Something like that? Something like that. Alright, I'm not seeing anything in here. You guys sure about that? There's nothing in here. Unless it's this. Oh, maybe it is th this. Nor Legacy, a tribute to a beloved guardian and mentor designed to help fulfill his final... Commandment, survive. Ah, something from Rost. Silent Strike Heal, Potent Medicine, and Medicine Capacity. I'll take it. Alright, and then a weapon. The Nora Legacy Spear. A powerful high-tech spear that honors the memory of a beloved guardian. Equipped with the Master Override, a module that grants the ability to override unlocked machines. And a resonator to store and release energy. Allows access to Zero Dawn systems, ideal for melee combat. So, some gifts from Ross. I. Ross, I guess. Okay. Cool. Shannon's, I'm proud of you. You saved without me reminding you last time you played. Keep it up. <laughs> well, now I just have to not save to thwart you. You can't tempt me like that. Alright, what is that? It's floating crap. Oh, the logs. I thought it was I thought it was dirt or something. It's the same as my spear, just a different visual. Well, let's see, which visual do we like? Let's see, the champion spear looks like that. They look very similar. Wait. Are you sure these are different? Uh, it looks like that. Oh, this one has... No, that has plumage too. Or no, it doesn't. Okay, well that's weird. This one looks better. The champion spear. This one's got the feathers in it. This one doesn't. Uh, I guess it's got some feathers at the bottom. Oh, uh, no, it's got feathers too. What the heck? These are basically the same. Just slightly different coloring. Eh, I like the champion spear. Can we see the machines in your notebook? Sure, there's not much in there, though. Oh, and I got a new collectible I need to unmark. Uh, but yeah, in terms of machines... Oops. That's all we got. We got Burrower, Scrounger, Charger, Fanghorn, which only has the Fire Fanghorn variant. Interesting. And uh, Bristleback. That's all we got. Lots. They don't look the same. Uh... They look exactly the same to me, so... I don't know which differences you're seeing, but uh, they looked exactly the same to me, minus some very small differences. Alright, so... Oh, it's over here. Looks like trouble. What? Are they bugging me from the training grounds? Alright, whatever. Are right, we in the area? We are. Look around. What do we got? Oh, that was fun. What I do we got? to investigate got? the clearing. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's as good a place to start as any. Wait, where are you seeing bloodstains? Aha. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. 
Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Examine human foot. All right, I forgot. If I look at the stuff in the first game, at least it would tell me more. Here, not so much. Examine human footprints. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. Branches, wooden branches snapped. Broken branches. Was someone up here? And what do we got here? We got human tracks, trail of human footprints. Faint tracks. Leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Interesting development. Who is this mysterious person? Looks like they're going through here, through this cramp. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Well, I've been wanting to try out my Valor thingy. So let's do that. Let's see, I've got this knockdown sharp shot bow. So let's see, I activate it with R1, I think it said? Yeah, Valor Surge Ranged Master, activate it. Do it. Oh yeah! Oh, it's go time now. It's go time now. Boom! That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Just got the war paint on. Oh, this look at it. Right, you know what? Let's go warrior bow. Ah, crap! Yeah, you want some of this? I'm not so great at shooting this at the moment. Oh god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he got me. Right, I think it already faded. I don't think it lasted all that long. You want some of this? Boom! Alright. It was cool. Wasn't like game changing by any means. But I didn't take advantage of it that well. What is happening to your aim? It's it's just me. I'm very inconsistent. I I will be an amazing aim sometimes, and other times I can't hit the broadside of a barn. It's just me. I've always been that way. And it can change instantly. Like, in like five minutes, I might just be incredible. Uh, let's see. Where did that trail go? What am I missing here? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, it's got a marker. <laughs> I thought it was closer. All right, so it's way over here. Okay, here we go. Blood. A lot of it. Where that armor was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. 
Oh, this might take me to that one camp I couldn't get to before. It's going in that direction. Or maybe not. Now it's going down. Someone set up a lookout down here. Examine bandages. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. They should be able to follow their tracks. Oh yeah, I've got some new toys to play with in the Shredder Gauntlets, definitely. Who did you go off to? Chief among them. So it actually does look like they might be heading towards that camp I saw before. I wonder if my focus can show me anything. What? what are you hoping for the focus to show you? Aloy, are you trying to trick me? There's nothing here. Oh, we got some machines. All right, well, we were wanting to check out the Shredder Gauntlet. Why don't we do that? We'll go with this uh, tear first. Charge it up and boom. Nice. All right, so you were saying like I could like catch it and rethrow it or something? Let me see how that works. Wow. All right, I don't know how to use this yet, but that looks powerful. <laughs> <laughs> that lived up to its name. Man. Alright, I'm not understanding this whole catch it thing. Apparently I can, like, throw it back or whatever. Boom! Get wrecked. Ow. Oh. Ow. Crap. Alright, hold on. We gotta take these seriously. Let's go with... Explosive Blast Link. Uh-oh. Things are getting rough. Actually, you know what I want? I want... What I don't have. Hold on, I gotta switch weapons. I would like not the explosive trip wire. I would like the shock bow. Where's my shock bow? Sharp shot, rope caster. Shock bow, where are you hiding? Hunter bow, what the? Oh, it's a warrior bow, that's right. I want this. We will put that in place of the Explosive trip caster. All right, I'm ready. Let's go time. You guys want to play? Want to play? And no angle. Gotcha. Oh, he got me. Finish him. There's too many! You get it? Yeah! Ah, oh, God! Go past him. And finish him. No! Do the critical strike! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my God, you ruined your chance. What was that all about? Rude! Knock it off! Got him! Boom! Ah! Critical strike! There we go. I actually do it this time. Let's go with. Supposed to blast. Oh! Shut up! Ah! Worry about it. 
trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. Their injury held them to his last legs. Yeah, you want some of this? Take this. Oh, I suck at aiming this thing. You know what we're gonna do? Melee lunge! Oh, no, not nearly long enough. Alright, fine. Hunt and bow. Alright. Wasn't pretty, but we got it done. Hey, I got a burrower sound shell. Nice. Nice. Well, purpley action. I needed that for some upgrades. Three dots below the reticle shows how many times you have caught it. Blue streak shows it coming back left or right of you. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Not you. Not you. What are we going to do about you? All right, well, we're going to need to switch weapons again. Let's go with the fire bow. Can I never find what I'm looking for? There we go. Alright, equip my fire bow for the shock war bow. We're gonna double up on the fire fun. Get him. And. Oh, I think I missed him. How did I miss him? That didn't miss. Man, they've got too much health. All right, hold on. I would like to go back to that other, the frost blast thing. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Use that chill water. Yeah, you want some of this, buddy? Take that. Oh God. Warbo. Oh, no ammo. Crap! We know what he's capable of. Man, I really just suck at aiming this thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dang it. I'm not done with you. I am not done with you. Look at that, knocked him down. And finish. Boom! Gonna run away from me? What? No, we're here to fight. We're here to fight. Damn. What? You really don't want to fight? Yeah, you want to fight. You were just trying to trick me. You want to fight. Yeah, take that. Going nowhere. Okay. That went better than uh, Fire Fangs in the past. Oh, left some. Wow. Left a lot of dudes over here. Hey there, Cookie Master. Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it live. these goodies we got look at all these goodies oh interesting I didn't see that stuff before oh there's like a whole cave system what the heck and there's stuff over here too what the heck how did we miss this before oh there's even a path up here what the heck? Oh man, we even found a data point. What the heck? Alright, what do we got here? Rama 5, 30 years on. 
Uh, news item, data corruption partial. New uh, Delhi. Uh, June 28th, 2055. 30 years after its commercial debut, we are so familiar with Rama 5, it is perhaps easy to forget the impact this revolutionary biofuel had in its early years. Even with the climate reeling, companies and individuals found it hard to surrender the freedoms and economic advantages that fossil fuels offered. What Ramify presented was a chance for stability. Existing cars, machinery, and infrastructure could be retained, but now they could be run clean. Data corrupted. During the period of intense competition in the early 2030s, it is hard to find an image of Synbio's CEO Nikita Arand without Christina Sun. While Nikita brought his or while Nikita brought the business acumen, it was Christina's technical innovations that many say guided Synbio through its second period of growth. Whether Christina outgrew her role at the company, or as rumors suggest, her mentor resented sharing credit for the company's success, in 2036, Christina Sun was pushed from the Synbio nest. She took flight to Jailu... See, now hold on. Before, I had mispronounced how X is said and I got a bunch of crap about it <laughs> so how am I supposed to pronounce this is it Shu Shulu I all I remember is I said that the next time I saw it I would say it wrong and I have again that's all I know <laughs> oh no the pronunciation of Nikita all right how's that supposed to be said then let's let's all teach me how to pronounce things Although there is the delay. Sha Olu? Oh my god. Really? I, I'm, wow. If that's correct, I will never do that right. <laughs> Sha Olu. All right. All right. She took flight to Shaolu Lunar Inc. And her arrival there led to a helium-3 boom that sowed the seeds for Rama 5's decline. Since Shaolu's, <laughs> Shaolu's first automated helium-3 plant was established near Tycho Crater in 2041, biofuel has lost market share in industrial power generation with every passing year. It may sound redundant, said Sun in 2042, but the moon represents the future. Unless Senbio accepts the fact, or accepts that fact, their days are data corrupted. Shalu, Shalu. It that yeah, that throws me off. I'm probably still saying it wrong, but maybe I'm closer. Maybe I'm just a tad closer. One day we're baby stepping. away for later. We're we're baby stepping there. All right, so there's something else that way, an ancient supply chest, which may be where I'm headed for my mission. Maybe. Yeah, it goes up there. Okay. That would appear to be... Yeah, so there was a way up there. Just didn't know about the side cave. Well, I'm assuming that will lead me to that camp I saw. I don't know if that's true. I got it? Alright, I got it, apparently. Now watch me forget it. Doesn't make a good die. Right, this looks like a good place for someone to hide. Oh man, remember these things? What are they called again? Destroyers? Or no, they were called corruptors, I think. I think those were corruptors. It's like a bunch of hoods and trunks I can pry open.
Somebody's yelling. They'll probably hear me coming, but that's fine. Alright, you know what I haven't tried yet? I want to see what's so great about this knockdown bow. Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. Oh, they were all grouped up. I missed my chance. We may have lost Meridian for now, but it will be ours again someday. Actually, do I have Valor? I have Valor ready to go. You know what? I wanted to try that one ability. Let's see. If we go, I think it was... Oh, we could try Toughened as well, but I wanted to try Stealth Stalker. So let me equip this. Alright, do it. Oh, not enough points. Dang it. Dang it. Alright, well, let me do a stealth kill. What if you are a witch? What if I stick this knife down your throat? Save it for the heretics. I'll pay back every card you return to the end. Oh, I didn't kill him. Got him. <laughs> Still stealth. Nice. All right, I'm gonna need something that does a little bit more damage. It's gonna have to be the sharp shot. I am the shadow, and the darkness will come again. The darkness will come right here. Anybody left? all you guys got easy here I thought you guys were scary all right, give me this stuff for the stash there might be more but whatever if they come for me they, come for me. they don't scare me Where's Chris? I don't know. Maybe he's enjoying a night off. A night of debauchery on the town. That totally sounds like Chris, right? Oh, there's a lot more dudes. Alright, well, I don't want to stealth everyone. That ruins all the fun. We gotta have a little bit of fun. got here darkened sun text log data corruption is minimal we are the eclipse elite of the shadow karja we did as hades the buried shadow commanded we followed the prophecy that high priest bahavas foretold we wore the relics of the old ones allowing us to share whispers across the sundom we raised an army of ancient machines to lay siege to the traitors who had stolen our holy city of meridian all for naught the accursed Nora Huntress slew our leaders and brought the buried shadow low. What are the faithful to do when prophecy fails them? But perhaps it has not. Bahava spoke of a cosmic cycle cut short by the murder of the true Sun King, Jiron. The world cast in shadow, the wheel of time broken. 
An unending day under a darkened sun. What if this period of prophecy is not yet complete? What if the buried shadow was not a deliverer, but only a harbinger? If this is true, our mission hasn't ended. It has barely begun. And it could very well be that the West, land of the setting sun, is where the true power lies. I just had a dog brought to me. No, no, no exchange of words. Just the door opens and then suddenly dog. Hello, dog. I assume she's off somewhere. My mother and my sister are in town. They're probably going somewhere and they left me with the dog. So if you hear crying, he's crying because he got left with me. Oh, hey, General. You're not on your, uh, you're not out for a night of debauchery? And <laughs> Blue said, here you go, pretty much. She didn't even say, here you go, just dog. Wait, what did I miss back there? Ancient supply box? How did I miss that? Hiding in there? Aha, there you are. Hey, John, welcome to the stream. Alright, I think we're good to move on. Like I said, I don't want to stealth everybody. That's no fun. Oh, but I do want to get that hood off that car. Oh, okay, that's not what I want. All right, no more stealth. I might stealth anyway. It is a fight. To the death. They still don't see me? Hello, there you go. Oh, you got armor, you pump. He's out. Yeah, you do. Cause you're gonna pay for that crap. You are gonna pray for that crap. Ow! Eat this! What? Is this guy so strong? Fine. Chest shots. Boom! Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, nice. And that takes care of that. Sounds like there's more eclipse beyond the daunt. Finish them with style. Rayad was their only link to them. He might have a focus. He could tell me where they are. All right, well, that was cool. Glintox circulator overdraw damage of seven percent on that coil. <laughs> Aloy snapping next now, apparently. After doing some fancy twirl over them. Alright, nothing too fancy in there. Plowhorn circulator. I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. He brought out trying to get here. Look at all those. Fanghorn antler, which I needed for something. I gotta use those traps more. I keep forgetting about them. Just this in my stash later. So many toys. I was right. Rayad has a focus. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. 
I'll have to pay this Vesra a visit and crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, not past Baron Light. Uh, okay. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. All right, so we got his mask. We need to return to Conover, but uh, did it give me a mission for him past Baron Light, or was it just letting me know? I think it was just letting me know. Okay. And yeah, this is indeed the encampment I found before, which is I couldn't get up. Although now it has grapple points. You hear this boy crying. You hear this dog crying. He's such a baby. Okay. Uh, I think we're heading back. What is... Straggler's Shade. Okay. Yeah, I don't... There's no reason for me to run back, so we can just fast travel back. Let's go. Actually, hold on. There's nothing down below, right? Nope, there's nothing. All right, let's just fast travel back. What mission am I doing? Uh, whatever it said. Uh, what's it called? Shadow from the past. That's the mission I'm doing. Have I been... Praying melee? I think you meant to say, am I playing melee? Uh, I'm meleeing a little bit, yeah. I try to mix it up. Unless you meant something else. I think that's what you meant. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. Completed side quest. Oh, two more skill points. I thought those two skill points I got earlier were from from the quest, but apparently it was from leveling. So I've got four. And I got a new side quest, Shadow in the West. Whoa! That's for uh, going to that Eclipse hideout. I imagine that's a high level one. Let's see. Oh, and I got that new coil there. And some silver ingots to sell. Oh, more stuff too, apparently. We got a Glint Hawk Circulator. Purge water. Okay. So yeah, if we look at our side quests. Oh, it's only level 10. Shadow in the West. Eclipse holdouts are gathering in the Forbidden West, rebuilding their army after the Battle of the Alight. They must be stopped for good. And that gives three skill points. Interesting. All right, I've got some points. What the heck are we getting? Maybe we'll start in Hunter. Let's see, stamina regions, passive boost to weapon technique. I haven't even used a weapon technique yet. Are these weapon techniques? They are. Oh, and I could just straight up buy them. It's not like these where I have to get the three. Well, maybe we try the high volley with a hunter bow. Uh, bow. Hunter bow. 
Fire a high arcing volley of arrows to rain down on your enemies. Uses your currently selected arrow type and depletes a medium amount of weapon stamina. Aim with L2 and fire with R1. Well, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay. And then this just recovers weapon stamina faster. 50%? Oh, yeah. that's That seems like an obvious choice. Okay. All that stuff's locked down there. I wonder why. Oh, not enough skill points. So I could probably buy it if I had enough. All right. What is the spread blast from the bolt blaster? I don't even have a bolt blaster, do I? No, I don't have a bolt blaster. All right. One more skill point. Uh, we could get that one for taking less damage from triggering my own traps. Skilled salvagers there. Oh, trap limit was something I wanted. So, you know what? I'll just get the skilled salvager now. So then I can get that next. Yeah. Do I know where to buy shredder gauntlets? I do, because I have them. Are you asking where to buy them? Or are you telling me I should? Because I already have them. Uh, somebody was asking, I can't see the message now, but somebody was asking me why I'm not streaming in 4K. It's because I can't. Uh, you have unlocked a weapon technique. Weapon techniques are unique, powerful attacks that offer exceptional new strategies in combat. Unlocked techniques are available for all weapons in their class. Tap or hold R1 while aiming to use your selected technique. Using a weapon technique depletes your weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Switch between available weapon techniques for your current weapon by opening the weapon wheel L1 and tapping left to right on the D-pad. Alright, so, so many new things to play with. Alright, so I wanted to figure out what this question mark is. Looks like a gazebo up here. Who is this? Oh. The savior of Meridian. My wares will help you. It's potion, dude. All right, well, I don't, I don't need his stuff. Remember, you can still buy at any time. Shiny's very important. The game seems to be bugged and has put machine hearts in the junk section. Did you forget they were one of the main components for upgrades? So stop selling them. Oh. Have I? I don't think I've sold any hearts, have I? Let me see. I don't think I have. Uh, I guess I have. No, I. I don't think these are for upgrades, or this thing lies. It says it's only for selling metal shards. Or selling for metal shards. What difficulty am I am I on? I am always on the hardest difficulty, which is very hard. I believe. Whatever the hardest is, that's what I picked. I think it was very hard. Uh, yeah, are you sure these are for upgrades? Because it doesn't say they are. Friend to the card job. How can I help you? All right, so we found out what the mystery was. It wasn't anything exciting. Is Varl no longer a companion? Well, we left him behind. Who knows? Maybe one day he'll catch up. And then we'll leave him behind again. But at least for now, we have no companion. We are just by ourselves. First chance we got, we ditched his butt. Alright, what is that? A small valuables cache. Look at other hearts and upgrades categories. Well, yeah, but those are probably for upgrades and these are not. Yeah, so these... Oh, wait, that's not a heart. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have any other hearts. <laughs> Are you sure it's on the hardest difficulty? Because you're making all this very easy. I, I am sure. But thank you for the compliment. I, sure, I certainly didn't make it look easy with those fire fang horns. But other than that, it's been, it's been pretty uh, smooth sailing. And we got another cache over there. Alright, dog, calm down. 
Calm down. She's she's coming back eventually. She's not gone forever. You'll be fine. He's such a baby, I swear. No one he is allowed past this cry point. for Commander hours when orders. she leaves. She's left me forever. She's never coming back. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Calm down, boy. All right, was it up there? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so we got that one, and then the other one's down there. That was a little confusing. And then we got another one up there. Give the dog some attention. I'm petting him. You can't, you can't console this guy. Once, once Blueberry's gone, the tears will flow. The tears will flow. All right, what the heck? All right, well that one over there will get. Can I just jump over here? All right, so we got this one. That other one's still confusing me. On the bottom? No, it's halfway up. Oh, is it under that ramp? Oh, I think I... Hold on. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, here we go. What kind of dog? I have a German Shepherd that's a baby at times as well. He is a Lab Sharpe mix. Just imagine a really wrinkly lab. All right, nothing up there, that's a little surprising. Okay, I think we are finally ready for this embassy. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Don't worry. If the Tanakh were planning to invade, they'd have done so already. If you say so, sir. Talk to Lawan. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Waris is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. About the embassy. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Tanakh the Marshals? You said something about Tanakh the Marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. 
<laughs> Came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is Nozar? Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Ulvan was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. I'm Aloy. You don't need luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. <laughs> I'll wait where I'm going now. Any reason for me to wait? I feel like going now. This guy's not gonna stop me. Look at him. I can see all the the weaknesses in his armor. Shove my spear right under his armpit. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Alright. Unless somebody tells me uh, to not do it, I'm going. Wolf says I'm going now. Wait, why you guys want me to wait? Well, no, the only reason to wait is if there's, like, something I haven't done yet. So, did I miss something? Anybody know? I want her to just walk to the edge and rappel down the fort. That's what I was expecting her to do. Alright, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's a 
I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's Orders happening? Are I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Laurel. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? No more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. All right, well. He's taking off with or without me, so I'm going. Let's meet the Tanakh, shall we? Got Varl back. The beard has arrived. the line between east and west cross it and die hold on now let's take it easy none may walk this valley until our signal sounds that was our accord with the Karja I'm not Karja I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage but they opened the gate for you did they not what is the meaning of this violation why send a child do they want to parlay or not the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. The Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. But I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Tattoos. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. 
Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. You and the Tanakh. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. That failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Hold on one second. I'm trying to calm the dog down. Hey, calm down. Desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. The cool route? You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. Service to the chief? You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, the marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. And they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So which tribe are you? So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. Chief Hikaru? The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. 
The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Going home. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Rite of Passage. You asked why I need Rite of Passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. If you wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. The Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... 
Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Fighting machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Oh, you pissed Aloy off. Let's cover. Archers on the ridge. All right, where are we going? Here they come. They coming in or not? There they go. Alright, I'm going out to meet him. Wait, what? Shot me. What the heck? Crap. Alright, you know what? I need... 
Health potion. Beautiful. Did they get it? Nope. Got it. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna blow up. Will you finish it? Thank you. Help them! I'll get her from me! Gotcha. Oh nope. Override it? No. Hey! Ow! Yeah, borrow double team. Alright, let me do another health potion. Got him. Kaboom! <laughs> oh yeah, oh crap. Get up. I ain't done with you. you. Killed my friends. Well, I guess they weren't really my friends, but you killed them, you jerk. Right, he's screwed. Oh. Oh, well that worked. these guys. Ah, there's acid. We've dealt with them. Alright, we need... What is that? Acid arrow. Are you okay? Oh, you good? I hope so. Here, blast trap. Come over here, I dare you. Come over here, I dare you. Nice shot, Marl. Gotcha! Oh, doubled up. Just chilling there? Alright, where's... Oh! Bro, we are not having a good time, are we? Got it. Var with a knockdown, what a champ. Blow that up, blow that up. Got it. Oh no, somehow didn't get it. Yeah, you want some of this, buddy? Take that. Oh God. Bad shape. I'm in bad shape. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Beat him up. I'll let you eat this. Kaboom! Woo! 
Dang it. Drop this. Hurry. Got it. Oh, yeah. You see, I'm trying to scan. I can break through his shield if I damage it enough. All right, weak versus uh, lightning and ah oh, crap, ah oh, crap. Weak versus lightning and uh, corruption or acid rather. Just hit him up with some acid. Coming that acid. Oh god. Oh, yeah, you wanna? Are you dumb enough to walk into my trap? Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you like that, you punk? Yeah, not having a good time, are you? You want a dishonor, huh, to get your butt kicked? What happened to all your armor, buddy? That's unfortunate for you. Well, boom! Get wrecked. Charge him up. Oh, beautiful. Get out of here. In the face. How you like that, huh? How you like that? Cool. Boom! Get wrecked again. Get that warrior bow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna break that shield. Shield's gone. He's vulnerable. Finish him! What you got? You got any goodies on you? Yeah, what now? Who you got? Your turn! Come down here and face me! No! It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out! me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort.
It's salvage time, boys. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Questions about the West. Tanakh lands? You said the Tanakh lands are far to the West. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So, no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Plain Song and the Utaru. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plain Song is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. Others out west? You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like, who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. 
Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. No man's land? This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. Okay, back. Regala. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Fashav. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. Nozar and Vadis. It's too bad about Nozar and Vadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Karja responds. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Time to go. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Attended the embassy. <laughs> I guess I did. I like how they must have been standing there the whole time, just waiting for me to turn around and wave at them. Alright, I uh, got new face paints. I still don't know how to use those. What's this? The Shield Wing is an energy based glider repurposed from machine technology. Hold square while in the air to deploy and glide. T uh, tap circle to stop gliding. Okay. I'll have to try that out. That was nifty the way he came in, although Varl should have seen that kick coming from a mile away. This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Oh, whoop. You're the first one I've seen, and I need I your stuff. Regala had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. Of course it's angry. silence. Why help to knock the rebels? Oh, potion recipe discovered for the cleanse potion. 
All right, you got anything more to say? Aloy, what do you need? Nothing. I need to be going. Of course. Good luck out there. Shannies, the chest you could not get in the quarry can be reached with the glide shield. Uh, maybe? Although probably not. I need something to like boost me into the air. I like how I took down that whole ambush, but those fire fangs were too much for me. Good thing they weren't riding fire fangs. Could have gone, could have gone real bad. <laughs> no, don't talk bad about Varl. I mean, come on, come on. That kick was coming from a mile away. <laughs> there is something incredibly satisfying. There's something incredibly satisfying about fighting these dudes and just stripping off all of their armor. Then you just beat them down. It feels it feels good. Had that dude down to his undies. Put the smack down on him. I like how Regal was like, no, 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 you've earned your freedom. It's like, pfft, you just don't want to come down and get your butt kicked. Try to play it off like you did me a favor. I was about to single-handedly take down your whole army. Look at all these supplies we're getting. It's beautiful. Oh, and even more. Good spot to test the shield wing. I climb down when I can glide. Maybe. I'll test it out later. Still picking up all these spoils of war. So many shinies, I know, right? It's paradise. The game got as close to gore as I've seen it get. It, uh, that one guy got chewed up by that machine's, uh, grinder or whatever. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but I'm going to shoot it. Oh. Almost missed. That's a crow. Well, no Man's Land has a lot of valuable things in it. Even more. We'll save after I pick up all this crap. <laughs> Even the birds get the wrath of Aloy. That's right. None shall live. All must be vanquished. Your eyes are dilated from the shinies. Wait, what did I just get? Oh, I got fire hunter arrows. Interesting. It rolled up in a blanket for some reason. Oh wow, that was a lot of stuff. Alright, we got two more. Dead dude here. Dead dude. Over there. Alright, oh, and actually, while we're over here, let's see if there's anything at the gate. For a fortress, they got. Oh, there's something down there. Uh, for a fortress, they got uh, ransacked. It's still pretty nice. Oh, nice. We found one of those. Uh, uh, whatever they're called. Green shine? Yeah, green shine.
This is going to be fun to see what the forbid Forbidden West looks like. Well, apparently we're not even close to the Forbidden West yet. We're in no man's land. Apparently we got to go through like an entire territory to get to the Forbidden West. So we're not there yet. Alright, anything over there? Yes, indeed. Oh, nice. I get to loot from the battle over here, too. And I have so many things. It's kind of weird that they took all that time to introduce, um... What the heck's his name? Uh, the cousin dude. I already forgot his name. That's how unimportant he was. <laughs> Ma Ma something? M something? Kind of weird, they took all that time to introduce him and then killed him like five seconds later. Statewise, last year, I think you're gonna go through Nevada? Maybe, although I would think. How far west did they go in the first game? I would think it'd be more like Utah, New Mexico, and then like the middle would be like Arizona, Nevada. And then you'd go out to like California, Washington. That's what I would think. All right, let's go save. Pushav, there you go. Yeah, see, I was thinking it was M for some reason. That's how unimportant he was to me. It's like, hey dude, I just met that I'm somehow supposed to remember your name. Although I guess his name was mentioned at the beginning too, because he was the reason, or one of the reasons I came out here. What the heck? Oh, that's the blight. I haven't seen the blight in a while. I forgot what it looks like. What's this? Secret. Oh, is that another one of these things? This might be another. Yep. Another one of these blocked paths. I can't get past it. Alright, so we now know where like four of those are. Alright, let's look at the map. Oh, and let's look at our new stuff. So let's see. We got a new coil, acid damage, we got some frost. Defense? Yeah, Frost Defense. Uh, we now have Cleanse Potions, a potent status removing and defense boosting brew made from plant and animal extract. The light colored liquid has a fresh, crisp scent, reminiscent of wet leaves after a rainstorm. An empty slot in the potion pouch is required to buy, craft, or pick up a potion. Cures all elemental and status effects, and then plus 30% elemental defense for 30 seconds. Takes berries and rich meat, so they're easy to make. On the resource front, nothing really. Oh, scan the blast path? Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. Don't think there's anything I can do about this now. Thank you for that. All right, we were going to look at the quest too. So we've got that active quest. Eclipse holdouts are gathering in the Forbidden West, rebuilding their army after the Battle of the Alight. They must be stopped for good. That was from previous. Uh, our main quest is Death's Door. It's level 10. Aloy heads to the location of the coordinates she recovered from the Spire. Silence is leading her somewhere. But the sage's motives are as mysterious as the new lands she must cross. Side missions... The Bristlebacks? Oh, the Bristlebacks is back. Javad the Willing, a Karja Magistrate, needs to know how deadly Bristlebacks got into the dawn. So I need to search north of Barren Light for the rebel camp. So that's probably the first thing that we'll do. Let me mark that now. We've got the errands for doing the Tanakh... Um, proving Grounds or whatever they're called. Oh, no, this is for the melee pits. Proving Grounds is something else. We got that salvage contract at Karif Salvage Camp. We saw him head out. Uh, hunting Grounds we've done. We've done the melee pits. Rebel Camp's Eastern Lie. 
Tanakh rebels have set up camp dangerously close to the Karja border. What could they be up to? No relic ruins. All oh, right, and speaking of collectibles, somebody told me I could look at that one collectible I had and I never did. Oh, we got new character bios. Fashab. Well, there we go. I was asking what his name was. Former prisoner. Uh, Fashab biography. A Karja noble. Fashab marched into the Forbidden West with an army sent by the despotic Mad Sun King Jaron. Knowing he'd be unable to directly defy the king's orders to raid and kidnap human sacrifices from the western tribes, he had hoped to moderate the army's treatment of its victims. But for the most part, he failed to stop his comrades' brutality. When the Tanakh clans united to counterattack the Karja, Fashav was captured at the Battle of Cinnabar Sands. Dragged back to the Tanakh capital, he managed to avoid death by participating in a rite that he had overheard his captors talk about, the Kulrut. In it, he fought machines in a great arena and survived. As per tradition, he was made a marshal, a roving peacekeeper that serves the Tanakh chief, Hikaro. This role allowed him the unique opportunity to gain insight into Tanakh culture. Hoping to become a diplomatic liaison between the tribes, he agreed to return to the Karja as part of an embassy at Baron Light. He was killed when Regala attacked the event with a force of raiders and machines. And then we've got Regala. Fearless and unrelenting, Regala was once a Tanakh marshal, zealously serving Chief Akaro. She believed he would eventually send the tribe's united clans against the Karja, her hatred, or her hated, her hated adversaries, in a final campaign that would decimate Meridian. Instead, Hikaro established peace with the Karja Sun King. Regala found this unforgivable. Declaring Hikaro and his allies to be traitors against their own tribe, she launched a rebellion with an attack on the embassy at Baron Light. Somehow, her forces have gained the ability to tame and ride machines, making her a threat to every tribe in the Forbidden West and beyond. Alright, so yeah, the, that collectible I have. Apparently, we can do more. It's the ornament. Here we go. So, text log data corruption is minimal. First stop on the screw your or screw you Kyle tour. <laughs> Guess what, Kyle? That big flashy demonstration for those big casino execs you wouldn't shut up about? Not gonna happen. But you know what is? Road trip, baby! Good luck following our dust trail, dick nose. Golden toucans out. Tom. It's a strange message. Alright, cool. We are all caught up on that stuff. Let me look at the map once again. And what is that? Is that the camp? That is what's his face's camp. So I think that's going to be our first stop. Let's actually go ahead and mark that. And I will just go ahead and mark it here. Or where is it? Here it is. Alrighty. Time to explore. See anything. Did they die? Who's this, who's this dead person? Oh. Oh, that was a person, the red fox. Oh, never mind. I'm I'm bad with human silhouettes apparently. Fox, human, same thing. Same thing. What was I scanning? Oh, fox. It's taking over the land out here too. Use the glider, sure. We'll use the glider. Go off of this. Do it. <laughs> it worked. Nice. Wow. Okay. 
guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. Nice! Mary Poppins my way down that cliff. This must be the salvagers I met in Baron Light. Looks like something's going on. All other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Karuf, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? Oh, what is this? Done with delving. A journal full of precise, careful glyphs. We took payment for the haul. I got more in one sale than in the last four delves combined, and the machines are endless. For every one we turn to scrap, another springs up in its place. No worries about us running short of salvage. And thank the fires of the forge for that. I was getting too stiff for delving. The climbs, the crouching, the crowbarring. Even with the knee armor I invented, it was all too much for these old bones. Not to mention the competition. Ever since those damned Shadow Karja found weapons in the ruins, every bandit and ruffian seems to think they'll find something that'll make them invincible. If a fall or a mistake with a machine doesn't kill you, those looters will. The ruins used to be quiet and empty. Special places. Now people treat them like storehouses. I guess the times have just moved past me. So I put my shards into this scrap camp. There will always be younger hunters, but the skills I got on the delve have taught me how to carve up machines in a way that'll get the best price. Should keep my belly full until it's time to head back to the claim and retire. I don't know. We got some tough competition out there. You think I'm worried about the other crews? I've got an eye for quality salvage. They don't. If it isn't the savior of Meridian, and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business, what the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> And that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. If their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage, it'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. Counting on you, Aloy. New salvage contract, a convoy ambush. Oh, I got a new data point. Convoy ambush. Scroll, a standard Osram salvage contract written recently and in haste. The following contract, as bestowed by Carif's Salvage Unlimited, salvagers, 
hereby engages the recipient, hunter, to provide the following services. The hunter will, el will eliminate at least one shell walker from the designated machine convoy to provide the salvagers access to a shell walker crate. Any other salvage can be gathered as payment for services rendered. A campsite and traps have been provided at the marked passage, which is regularly visited by the convoy. The hunter understands that accepting this contract involves inherent risks, including physical and or psychological injury, pain, suffering, disfigurement, temporary or permanent paralysis, and or death. But please don't die. I really need those parts. Land. Alright. So, inventory... Why is there a new resource? Alright, the blighted meat. Animal meat infected with red blight cannot be consumed. You just sell it. I don't know why anyone would buy bad meat, but apparently people do. So, we have a salvage contract. Why is that still a thing? Oh, I gotta fulfill the first contract. Okay. So, convoy ambush. Larend requires plating from a shell walker crate to craft his armor. Ambushing a nearby convoy should provide his team with what they need. Find more details in the data point copy of the contract. We'll get a coil for that. We'll get shards and we'll get a bunch of experience. Okay. You have anything else to say? Hey, Lloyd. You managed to get those parts I asked for? I'm working on it. We got to trade, buddy. Uh, nothing good. All right. Always good to think before you buy. Make this armor work. I know it. All right, nothing else really going on here. Let's go ahead and save. All right. So on the map. The bristlebacks. All right. Yeah, let's work on. Uh, let's work on this. It'll send me that way. Okay. What is that? Unknown sky drifter site. Ah, we got a ruins over there. Yeah, unknown charger site. All right. I'm just gonna head towards my objective. This is the thing we've been working on, trying to figure out where those bristlebacks came from. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. Lots of uh, machine parts are in it. What is this? Some kind of outpost with pens. That might be where Regal is keeping her machines. I have to cause some issues to her operation. Discovered the deadfalls. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff around here. Right. Including enemies? Yes. Right, I'll say hello to this person. Get wrecked. Okay, I'm in. I have to clear out this place before I can look around. So before I move on, aha, I figured, I figured, I like to hide stuff underwater, what we got here, that was a deep water Kendall weed oil, that's new, I'll figure out what that is, we got our dude over there, okay. All right, what did what did I pick up? D 
Deep water Kendall weed oil used as an ingredient for both cooking and brewing. This glossy oil adds a pinch or adds a punch of flavor and a touch of spice. Harvested from deep water Kendall weed, which is often found growing on lake beds. Purchasing food from cooks and settlements is the use. Oh, and I have three skill points. We'll spend those in a bit. I forgot. I forgot. Let's see, how many potions do I have? Three? Yeah, I'll wait. Alright, got the machines. Got these people. Oh, uh, we got the one on the machine. What happens if I just shoot him off? Oh! Well, knockdown. Oh, I used the knockdown one. Crap. Well, they work. Oh, to the face. <laughs> Knocked him down again. Oh, hi. Everyone's pissed. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going Shredder Gauntlet. Yeah, take some of this. Ah, I can't screw with weapons I'm not comfortable with at the moment. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I want... I want an explosive sling thingy. It's the explosive one. There we go. There we go. I will replace the frost one. I'm ready. Who wants to get blown up? You you ready for it? Boom! <laughs> oh, I didn't knock him back. That's why I picked it. All right. You know what? Fire! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some of this? Boom! Oh, boom! Yep. Uh, no, you're almost dead. Wait, oh, he's on top. Almost dead. I thought the machine was almost dead. Ow! Right in the face. Hey, stay away from me. Dang it. Oh wait, I got it? No. We need not. to move in. Oh crap. I didn't mean to go back here. Hi. How's it going? Ow, rude. Taking you down with. I guess we'll go light or swift. Guess I could light you on fire too. Gotcha. Oh, knocked him down. I don't think I got the canister. Finish it. Ow. Shredder Gauntlet. Oh! I'm still not good at this. I don't think I'm using it right. Yeah, it's still... I can't remember if it's supposed to be a freebie one or not. Machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. Time to loot up. No uh, room on me. I can send it to my stash. You cut it once then? Yeah, but do you get a free throw? I thought you got a free throw, or is it just like a damage boost or something?
I saw it returning to my hand. I tried to time it. But I don't think I was doing it right. Whatever the trick is. Have I died in the stream? I have not. I don't do that whole dying thing. A drawbridge. Might be my way across. I don't believe in dying. Unless it's a fire fang horn. Ooh, look at all that crap. Alright, I keep forgetting about my traps. Oh, what's this? Vertical shock traps are now available to craft in place. These special traps can damage... I control the bridge. These special Let's traps can damage flying targets as well as enemies on the ground and will stun vulnerable targets with shock damage. Interesting. That was one issue with the first game. It was really hard to get flying enemies down. And it sounds like there's a bit of a solution. So that's cool. You don't believe that and die and tell that to Danny Rojas. Hey, Danny kills himself. That's not me. be on that vertical shock trap. Oh, I never ate my food. I should probably do that. Well, I'll wait for something a little bit harder, then I'll eat my food. <laughs> Danny Rojas is busy fixing his ankles. Please leave a message. What the heck am I hearing? Like a fight pit nearby? Yeah, hear all that? Sounds like it's over there. Well, we don't lack for supplies. So that is good. Did I get everything? I might have. After I pick up these last things. Sure, I'll take a rock. Uh, pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. Anything else? One thing over here. Where the heck is that? Way over there. Oh, no, it's over there. How do I get over there? Over here? There it is. Okay. It is time to move on. Looks like... There are a couple of weak points. The ropes attached to the bridge. Didn't That's one half of the bridge. I had to drop the other side. I don't actually need that bridge. I could just go right around it, but it wants me to take the bridge down. So I will do as they ask. Although, yeah. I There. Bridge is down. Come on. There. This side. There we go. How long has it been since the first Horizon game came out? Uh, what's it been like for you? Oh, I can't climb up. What the heck? <laughs> Ah, it's 
been a lot of uh, spots that are really buggy for the climbing in this game. Has it been five years? I thought it was four. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Pins. Bristleback. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Alden's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chain Scrape to let Javad know. Interesting. Not really definitive what happened. We're not heading back yet. There's shinies. Come on, Aloy. You know. You know better. Hey, we got a green shine slip. I was gonna say, how do I get down safely? But I forgot. I got this dude dead. The umbrella. Got down here. Is that it? Should probably scan the bristle back down here. Where's he at? Bristle back. You special? Well, maybe. Nope, just a bristle back carcass. Okay. Nothing noteworthy down here. Alrighty, well... And what's that? Oh, the deadfalls. Uh, yeah, let's see. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess it does make sense. Or no? That mine was over here. Well, I guess. I guess. I could see it. Uh, yeah, let's head back to Chain Scrape. That's not Chain Scrape, that's the other. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense, because that mine's way over there. Right? I think that's the one where they were, I mean, I guess it could be like a super long tunnel. But, I don't know. Where is Chain Scrape? Yeah, Chain Scrape's over here. Alright, heading back. Horizon Zero Dawn was Shiny's third walkthrough, so it couldn't be in 2018. Uh, it was not my third walkthrough. It wasn't even close to my third. It was probably like double digits, to be honest. My third walkthrough was Oceanhorn, I think. Either way, it was nowhere near my third. I can say that with confidence. Oh, uh, what's her face wants to talk? Petra. What's up, Petra? Well, look at that tonight game, but any tribe can enjoy it. Making sparks fly out there. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Uh, let's see. Bristlebacks? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <laughs> Alright, we've seen this before. Let me You're see if I can kid. skip Last all this. Last lost, but that put in. Now, but how could two words? Olvind has, he's hoping to, until the cons, this is just his, he's been trying to write. About that. Fading forge, are you sure? Yeah, 
Bristlebacks came barreling through from the west. Oh. Well, I'll bet the magistrate would be mighty interested to know about that. All right. Well, there wasn't much new there. Uh, Toland Clean Broker. Has Toland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. He's still nursing his pride over at his shop. I've seen Karja fuss pots made of tougher stuff than that brittle bolt. Anyway, he knows if he messes with the Shadow Karja, he messes with me. Gotta go. I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, Flame Hair. Don't be a stranger. All right, Mr. Magistrate. So, you've returned from the West. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakhth rebels on the other side of the mountains. Olvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the Bristlebacks, it's Olvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time, he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parchment. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Done with all that! <laughs> <laughs> Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, well, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss.
Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Olvend has been banished. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Nice. And I'm up to level 12. Nice. I'm back up to four skill points. They give you so many skill points. I haven't even tried my weapon technique. I completely forgot about it during that battle. All right. And it looked like I got a new weapon. I got the strong arm hunter bow. I don't know when we got this. This sturdy mid-range Osram bow can deliver powerful shots when overdrawn and has a greater chance of inflicting a critical hit. It's got plus 30% overdraw damage. Okay. I think that's better than mine. Mine's just run of the mill, I think. Yeah, just a regular hunter bow. Yes, yeah, so this one's... Oh, wait. Yeah, 15 and 25... Mine's upgraded, though, so this is probably better. Not positive on that, though. Uh, I also got the Nora Champion uh, outfit. With a blend of Nora fabric and ancient technology, this armor favors stealth and ranged combat. Stealth ranged plus and concentration plus. Uh, resistant against melee and ice. And tools. Oh, we got that vertical shock trap. A three-pronged metal stake that generates an electrical energy field above it. Once placed, it triggers on contact with ground or aerial enemies. Shooting the stake can also detonate it. it takes machine muscle, sparker, and metal shards to make, so that's easy. And then on our resources, we got what? Just a grazer circulator. Oh, but that doesn't have acid ammo. Does the other one have acid ammo? Oh, it does. Didn't I have another hunter bow then? Oh, this is the one. No, that's the fire one. Yeah. Well, this one does the overdraw damage though. So, pure damage option. Uh, We got skill points. We have skill points. Where are we spending them? All right, I wanted to get the increased traps. So place more traps and tripwires on the field at the same time. We can now do three. Cool. And that's for not... Oh, I have six skill points? Holy crap. Hey, food food duration. Skill boosts and other effects from food last longer. 4.5 minutes? Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Why not? Uh, let's see. I've been using melee more than I thought I would, so maybe we spend a little bit more here. Um, let's see. Energized duration. I don't care about that. Aerial slash jump off. An active skill. Jump off an enemy to quickly reposition yourself and create distance. Ooh. Shooting your target with an arrow immediately after a jump off deals extra damage. How do you do it? Oh, R1 and then hold R2. Plus, it looks super nifty. Yeah, I want that. I want that. That looks cool. Play with that a little bit. What do we got over here? Resonator Blast Plus. Deal more damage with Resonator Blast. Sure, I'll take that. I'll take that. And uh, what's this one? Oh, I already have that. Power attack plus. Oh, power attacks deal more damage. Yeah, I'll take that. And resonator damage. Deal more damage when energizing a target. Sure. It seems kind of whatever, but 50% damage boost is pretty nice. So I'll take that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So, we took care of that. Maybe we head back out here. We still have that contract. Let's see. Oh, that's where the rebel camp is. Oh, that's probably what I was hearing when I was he over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, undoubtedly. Uh, there's no fast travel there. That's interesting. I'll have to go back to here. All right, cool. I will use the campfire to do it for freezies. Where is it? Got an acid tip there. Alright, I don't think I made that my active quest. I did not. So yeah, unknown rebel camp. Do, do, where is it at? I think it was... Was it Death Star? No. Shadow in the West? That's the Eclipse one. Is that's not the one I want, though. Rebel Camp. There we go. Eastern Lie. All right, I believe that's the one I saw, and indeed, it is. All right. Let's go. Wait. Uh, this way. Hello, salvager. Stay safe. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. And we'll read it later. There can't be anything in the fine print that scares me. And I also read it. Alright, so that's the camp I took out. I want to go this way. Ooh, look up there. That's new. Wait. A tall neck. Oh, a tall neck. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Nice. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. All right. Must but... have been a huge battle. The old ones. They gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. <coughs> oh, I'm in the blight. <laughs> Just chilling in the blight. Uh, okay, so we got a new quest for a tall neck. There we go. That's Cinnabar Sands. A tall neck is circling a strange dislike or dish-like old world structure. Overriding it should prove or should provide data on the surrounding area, but how to reach its head. Wow, they give so many skill points. Two for doing a tall neck. We still have a bunch of unknown categories. All right, and then in our notebook, we got this Sky Drifter. A gliding machine that easily spots and tracks potential threats, whether in the air or on the ground. It is fast and agile and can lash out with its razor-sharp tails and wingtips. Let's see. It is weak to frost. It's got a scanning unit on its face. Tracking container. Produces a spray that can track a target's location even if they attempt to re-enter stealth. Detach or destroy to disable on its chest. It's got a booster <laughs> in its crutch. That allows it to launch itself into the air, so that's destructible. Uh, antenna on the back. Oh, reinforcement call. Interesting. Uh, shock storage on the tail. Okay, so we can take advantage of that. And then uh, the razor tail. We can shoot off, I guess. Yeah. All right, I have not fought one of these before, and I want to do that. So let's see. <coughs> oh, all right. And he's hanging out above the blight. That's rude. Could probably nail that shock canister from here. Yeah, definitely. All right, let me let me equip my shock. Oh, it's a warrior bow though. It doesn't have a range. It's gonna have to do though. 
It's going to have to do. Can I nail him from here? Oh, oh, there's two. Well, this could get interesting. Can I shoot that far? Maybe right there. Oh, wow, that thing is super inaccurate at distance. All right, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to fight him over here. How many are there? There might be three. Oof. Yeah, there's three of them. Four of them. Ooh. I don't know. What you guys think? Should I go for it? Or should we wait? Oh, I can grapple up there? Right, I gotta try that. I can't pass it up now. I, I can sneak up on him, potentially. Oh, no, I can't. That was pointless. You're playing on ultra hard? Uh, no, very hard. Ultra hard is either not a difficulty setting or not one that's available right away. Alright, guess we're going for it. Gotcha! Hello. Get in there! Ow. Get up. Alright, let's try this. Oh, dang it. Alright, I'm gonna need a health potion. Good. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, you are quick, aren't you? going? Dang it, missed. What? Oh, I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Alright, these things are a little obnoxious. Let me try sharp shot. Wings keep blocking me from hitting their uh, electric. Jeez. All right, sharp shot bow. Here we go. Boom. Oh, he's almost dead. This might finish him off. Oh, knocked him down though. Get out of here. All right, good, one down. One down, where are you at? Uh, let me try the knockdown shot. Didn't think about that. Oh, nice. I uh, actually was not expecting that to work. Get away! Get away! Alright. Shredder Gauntlet, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Exactly working, although it did it did its job, it did its tear. Ah, I cannot the warrior bow is not accurate enough. 
Oh, you know what we're, we'll do? Let's drop Blast Trap. Yeah, come, come dive in here again, I dare ya. I dare ya. Yeah, dive in here. Come on. Do it. Punk. Alright. Knock him down. I cannot hit those canisters. Oh! It worked though. Finish it! Warrior bow, or no, not warrior bow. Let's go hunter bow. That's not what I wanted. Got him. All right, one left. All right? Uh, guess they are done. Alright, cool. Vertical shop trap. Yeah, I could have. Oh, I got a piercing spike. What is that? What's a piercing spike? Alright, I picked up a sky drifter circulator. What is that spike? Piercing spike. A razor sharp metal spike harvested from a machine's claws, horns, or jaws. Obtained from powerful machines with fangs, horns, claws, or tusks. Crafting ammunition, or use it for uh, crafting ammunition that can pierce armor or inflict high tear damage. Interesting. Are there any benefits for playing on very hard? Uh, more fun, in my opinion. But difficulty is not for everybody. But for me, it makes it more enjoyable. All right, I ripped soon enough. off this. T oh, nice! I ripped off the tail. Very nice. Okay, there's a dude over there. Rebel Rider. Is that tall neck? All right, I don't think there's anything else. I just wanted to. I just wanted to fight that bird to see what it was all about. Oh, there is something over here. Scavenger scrap pile. I guess I may as well. <coughs> Stupid blight, get away. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got uh We got a leap lasher. It's a leap lasher. An acrobatic transport machine often seen in packs. Its cargo can be deployed mid-combat to aid allies or weaponized for its melee attacks. That's a frost canister leap blaster. Or leap lasher. Uh, okay. So, it's got... It's weak to purge water damage, which, um... If you put the purge water state on it, then you can apply shock and ice more easily, I think. It's got the cargo claw. Detachable. It's got attack removal on it. Contains valuable resources. It's got its chill water canisters, which we definitely want to take advantage of, and then the power cells. So for these guys, I think a swift warrior bow is in order. So let's... Wait. The warrior bow is better? Why? Oh, it's rank. It's higher rank. Well, I've got this one higher rank, so I'll take this one. And then... Um... I had ice arrows, right? Or did I not? I thought I did. Did I not have an ice bow? Oh, I'm going crazy. I thought I had an ice bow. Well, never mind. Well, I'll take the explosive blast sling for the purge water. And then I guess we'll shock it. I guess. Oh, but I don't have any shock ready to go. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I need this shock bow.
Yeah, I need the shock bow after all. Okay. Let's see how are we going about this. Guess we'll just go in with the uh, purge water bombs. I'll try to sneak up on one though. Are just gonna leave? Well. If they just leave, that changes things. Alright. Hopefully they're not going to tell their friends that I'm here. They might be doing that. They apparently ate allies. Are they looking for me? Light is everywhere. All right, so we got that over there. Oh, there's this, wait. There's more crap over there. What? Wait. Why is a red fox? I'm confused. Oh, so sneaky. All right, I'm gonna nail this dude. I'm gonna nail him. Oh, he moved up. You butthead. Take this. Oh, instantly. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, unless you do shock easily? No, not shock. Maybe it was acid? Chill water did something. Maybe. Let me build. Oh, yeah, the acid's building up pretty quick. Maybe that's the deal. Oh, no ammo. And gotcha. All right, now he's gonna take more damage. Wow, he's still alive. There we go. All right, pick up the chill water. Pick up the cargo pad. All right, those are pretty easy. All right, what was I look? Wow, what's all this crap? Wait, vent panel? Where am I looking? Oh, that's a different area. I see. All right, I'm confused. There was supposed to be like a scrap pile over here, but then there wasn't. Is it this? Oh, that's just a red fox. What the heck was I seeing earlier? There was a scrap pile over here. I know there was. Why are these red foxes highlighted as something I need to loot? Maybe that's what's screwing with me. What's so special about you? It's just lighted <coughs> meat. It's not particularly useful. Oh, Sky Drifter over there. Half health. I must have beat him up earlier. Alright, well, these... I, I want to get rid of these red foxes just so they don't show up anymore. <coughs> Otherwise, they're going to screw me up when I scan. Yeah, those are all red foxes. Oh, what's that? Tall neck signal? Oh, he's too far away. Another tall neck that way. Yeah, these are all freaking foxes. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna bother because they're just gonna keep dying in the blight. It's just gonna keep showing because they're dead. Yeah, but it normally only does that for machines. Uh, I guess it does it for body. I guess it does it for humans too. That's kind of a pain. That's a little annoying. All right, anyways, I got about 10 minutes. We should be able to finish this uh, rebel camp or whatever. Which is this way.
He is resistant to shock. I thought purge water overpowered uh, that. I need to look again. I thought purge water was the one that. Looks like the rebels have a camp in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up to. They've got riders patrolling the area. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Knocked them right off. All right. Well, so much for being careful. Huh. His, uh, mount doesn't attack me? Oh, no, he does. Alright. Whoa! Alright, you know what? I like the f lighting these on fire. If I can... I feel like they made it harder to hit the canisters. Like, they're more, um... Ooh, headshot. Look at that. I feel like their body parts block your arrows more efficiently than they did in the first game. That could be crazy though. Combo's working great. That combo's where it's at. That combo is where it's at. Oh, hello. Coming to say hello? Bad mistake. Oh, headshot. Oh, got that helmet off. Oh, no, I didn't. Alright, I gotta go say hello. I'm liking these uh, knockdown arrows. Because I can just go boom! Oh, wait. Didn't work. Try it again. Oh, maybe I have to hit him in the legs. There we go. Oh, no, that didn't work. She's not escaping! She's taking tactical cover. Very different. Alright, you ready for this? You ready for this? Boom! Boom! Take this. Oh, nice. The neck break. Oh, she killed one of yours indeed. We're going to do about it, huh? We're going to do about it. You're going to run away. All right. I respect it. I respect it. Got a health potion back. Don't have to craft my own. Should probably grab some of these berries. I'm getting a little low. And they're everywhere. Grab this on the go. Concentration mode appears to not be as slow as the first game, which is why it's harder to hit the weak spots. Ah! I feel like it's the same. It wasn't at the start of the game, but then I got that upgrade, and then it was. So I don't, I don't think I agree with that. It feels the same to me. Alright, I'm all set up here. Not liking the Shredder Gauntlet, I gotta say. It's really good for tear, but outside of that, I'm not a big fan of it. Alright, how do we get in there? here oh hello oh you done messed up got you out Linda. you done messed up you got in a bow battle with Aloy it's a bad idea all right is there a way in over here what's the deal here let me in face me can I just climb over here Maybe through here. Oh. Maybe find the way into the camp. 
Is this it? Yeah, it's so close to the other one. I keep thinking I'm in the other camp. Oh. Ow. Oh, nice. I can keep going. Surrender now. Oh, got a trophy for that. Perform three melee combos. And I dodged it. Very particular. Felt like I dodged with plenty of time, but still got hit. Uh, you. Oh, what the heck? That was not anywhere where I was aiming. Alright, whatever. I gotta get closer. I gotta get closer. <laughs> Tricky going up the back. Catch this! I don't like that the explosive blasting doesn't actually shoot them. Doesn't knock them back or anything. That's what I expect when I shoot it. Oh, who's shooting at me? Where are you? Ah, oh, you're up there. What's this? Ravager cannon? What is this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys still wanna play? Yeah, or do you have a change of heart? Who wants to get ravagered? Yeah, y'all ran away, didn't you? No, maybe not. Where are you all at? Get down here. There you are. <laughs> oh, he's still alive? Oh, no, he's dead. Where are you? There you are. I can't heal while I'm holding this? Alright, whatever. Drop it. Oh, I can't heal because I'm out of heals. There we go. Let me craft some more. Oh, crap. Craft it quick. Okay. Oh, no, you got a... Aloy, move! What are you doing? Wow, what the heck? I exited the menu and then it was like three seconds before she would react. That was terrible. Just go Going in. Oh, he's got a maze canister on his back? That's a terrible idea. Bring it down. Uh. There you go. Who wants some? Woo! Boom. Oh, stabbed him through the chest. Brutal, Aloy. Brutal. Healing up. Oh, I killed your friends, all right. That is precisely what I did. Oh no, shield dude! Crap. Uh, oh, you know what we'll do. Yeah, come over here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I gotta get rid of his friend first. All right, it's charged up. Apply that. Oh, too slow. Apply it. There we go. Lower up, lower up. Ow. Hold on. Gotcha. Oh, oh, really? I missed that shot. That was terrible. 
Oh no! Oh no! Move, Aloy! Retreat! <laughs> I'm alive! Oh look, she regenerates. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this. Grab that. Grab that. Alright, we're back in action. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Hey, guess what, guys? I'm bringing a toy this time. I'm bringing a toy. How's that shield gonna hold up against this cannon? Shield versus cannon. Go! Oh, you ran out? What the heck, Aloy? What the heck? Up this cap. Oh, you messed up now. Oh. Thing. Did she just trip? <laughs> she totally tripped. All right, we made it. All right, I can refill my pouch. There we go. All right, we cleared out their camp. A little rough. They've definitely uh, massively improved the uh, the human combat in this game. In the first game, the humans were kind of a joke, but now they be dangerous. They be dangerous now. There's actually that much in here. There's that tall neck over there. We got the corpse down there. Well, there's a decent amount of stuff. Most of the people I killed. My pack's full, but my stash has room. Some help, buddy? Hey there. Uh, how do I release you? Oh. I know how to release you. Oh. Or not. Hey. I'm here to help. And follow my lead. Alright, the first game had prisoners, too. Well. Please. Just a short ride from the Karja border. There's enough here to take out half a bear light. Unless I blow it up first. Alright, what does it say? Shooting an elemental drum will cause it to leak and then shooting so it looks like I have to shoot it with a regular shot first. Oh! Get back to the command center. Or not? If the rebels are planning an attack on Baron Light, it has to be stopped. Alright, cool. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Once you clear out a place, you get a campfire there. Although, no. Weird. Maybe it's after I finish the quest. Bean stem. Wild beans. Killed somebody over here. Oh, we got a little secret cave back here. With a sliver. Interesting, where does this go? And what's that? Oh, search the command center? 
Oh, there's more? Oh, I thought, here I thought we were done. All right, well, that's fine. There's more to do. Guess we're gonna run a little late tonight. We'll finish what I started. Stashes here. I'll save the extra stock for later. Oh, oh, never mind. The command center. I see. I see. Messaging device, rudimentary one-way communication device, contains recorded transmission. Does it now? Loyal Tanakh, hear me. I was told a soldier from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next fool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regal is not working alone. These sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines. So in that silence. Empty container, explosive trace material present. They've been accumulating blaze. And from what I saw out there, enough to blow up something big. Weathered scrolls, maps of surrounding territory. A map of the dawns. Tracking movement in and out of barren light. With emphasis on the flood's weak points. They're gonna blow up barren light. Make a hole big enough to fit an entire army. So Regala plans on invading the Sundown. At least when she gets an army big enough to do it. Good thing I blew up all that blaze. Baron Light should be safe. For now. Alright. This camp is cleared. We got a bunch of skill points for it. As usual. This is some sort of special chest. A superior supply cache. It's got a new outfit. Karja Blazin. See what this is about. Kaja Blazin, worn by members of the Hunter's Lodge. This showy garb is especially useful when it comes to laying traps for the unwary. So you get plus one trap limit, plus one skilled salvager, strong against fire and electricity. Got a new coil, that's acid defense plus four percent. New resource, that would be that sky drifter razor tail that we picked up. That's for upgrading. We also got an Eastern bird wing for the cook, as well as wild beans. Packed with flavor, these tasty beans are boiled, mashed, stewed, or dried and ground into a flour. All right, what else do we have here? I didn't quite finish grabbing everything. There's a dude over there. Frost River Fronds, five of them. Uncommon, apparently. All right, I think we got everything here. Oh, no, we left the corpse over there. 
But I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and that campfire should be usable now. So I'll loot that corpse and then we'll save up and uh, that'll pretty much be it. Anything else? Oh, we did. Oh, I left those rebel riders down there. I should keep an eye out for more of these rebel camps. I'll go loot them up. Stop them from stirring up trouble. I need to find out more about these sons of Prometheus. Stop them from helping the rebels slaughter their own people. Not to mention the Karja. Oh, and I forgot to eat that food before the fight. So many things. All right. Look. All right. Looks like we're cleared now. Uh, before I save, I've been trying to knock out some of this tutorial stuff every stream just to make sure there's nothing like really obvious I'm missing. They've actually been quite helpful. So let's see. Oh, and inventory. I got something new again. What did I get this time. Oh, I got those Frost River fronds. A nutritious leaf that can be eaten, cooked, or raw. It is most flavorful when packed after the first frost. For cooks. All right, so if we look at our tutorials. Wait. Wait a minute. Traversal has new stuff? Oh. Advanced traversal options, basic moves. A number of traversal moves can be combined in interesting and powerful ways. Such as strike enemies from above while gliding. Grapple jump and then glide. Grapple jump and then strike enemies from above. Grapple jump and then fire a slow motion shot. Glide and then use a grapple point. Slide and then aim and fire your weapon. Okay, and then we got gliding. Basic tactics, escaping, smoke bombs. We know how those work. Attacking, unlockable melee skills. We already saw all this. All right. Uh, actually, hold on. Aerial slash and jump off combo. So this is the one I, I've been doing it, but I can't seem to do the arrow part at the end. So aerial slash, quickly damage an enemy and leap into the air. And then the jump off. Jump off an enemy to quickly reposition yourself and create distance, which is hold. And then shooting an arrow at your target immediately after aerial slash. I guess I'm just not drawing my bow quick enough. Weapon classes, warrior bows. We've seen these. I don't know why that's showing is new. Oh, well, we got spike throwers. While one of the strongest weapon types, their high ammo crafting cost makes them best suited to dealing high damage to large machines. So maybe I used it and I wasn't impressed, but maybe, I don't know. Shredder Gauntlets, I want to understand more. So Shredder Gauntlets are unique weapons that deal more damage with every throw and catch of a Shredder. After three catches, the Shredder's next impact explodes. While aiming, the longer a Shredder is charged up, the longer it will slice into enemies before returning. Shredder Gauntlets deal the highest amount of tear damage and excel at removing machine components. They are ideal for skilled hunters who stay on the move and time their throws. All right, so... Yeah. Just got to get better at that catching. Special ammo types. Knock down precision arrows. Deal lower damage than other sharp shot bow ammo, but have a greater knockdown power that can stagger and knock down enemies. Once knocked down, enemies are vulnerable to critical strikes and other attacks. Yep. Elemental ropes. Certain rope casters can use shock and plasma ropes to deal elemental damage while also creating an area of residual damage around its anchor point. These ropes can also be used to tie down machines, but at a slower rate than standard Binding ropes. Tied down machines will also break free more quickly when they take damage. All right, and then we got weapon techniques. We know how to unlock them. We know how to select them, I think. Yeah, and then weapon stamina. Using weapon techniques depletes weapon stamina. The weapon stamina bar is shown next to your ammo count. Different techniques deplete different amounts of stamina. Weapon stamina regenerates over time. Consuming a stamina potion can quickly restore your weapon stamina bar. All right, so I don't think I found the potions yet. And uh, 
We got one more in this category. May as well look at it. Valor surges. We know how to unlock them. We know how to equip them. Earning Valor. Valor surges can be activated when at least one segment of the Valor surge bar is full. I guess I'm not clear on where the bar is. The Valor surge bar is shown next to your ammo can. Well, there you go. The bar fills by earning Valor through skillful gameplay. Yep, we've seen all that. Activating. We know how to activate it. Oh, wait. Hold on. The Valor surge bar has multiple segments when upgraded. Activate your Valor surge with one segment full to activate. Oh! So when you buy those higher levels of Valor Surge, it'll consume that much. Interesting. All right, well, that's everything under the attacking, so we'll save the other categories for later. All righty. Well, we will go ahead and save it now. There we go. And that's going to be it for tonight. So tomorrow night, I'll be on GTA Online. Wednesday, we'll be playing Far Cry. Uh, Thursday, we'll be back here on Horizon. Friday is Death Stranding with my wife, Blueberry. Saturday, we'll be on Horizon. And Sunday, we'll be Rainbow Six. Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I will see you all next time.